Please note, any predictions and stats will be using local election results, as they're the most recent election to take from. As turnout for local elections is less than a general election, please take these with a grain of salt. Let's look at the most populous cities in our region. First up, Bristol. Bristol is currently made up of four constituencies, all of them Labour majorities. The boundary changes very little for Bristol South and Bristol North West. Bristol South loses the ward of Knoll and North West gains the ward of Bishopston and Ashley Down, but loses Lockleys Down. Bristol West gets renamed to Bristol Central and loses the Bishopston and Ashley Down ward as well as Eastern and Lawrence Hill. At the last local elections, the majority of the wards making up Bristol Central voted majority green. If replicated in a nationwide election, this could mean the Greens gain a second seat in the House of Commons. The seat that changes the most is Bristol East, which is getting divided up into Bristol East and the newly created Bristol North East. The wards of Lawrence Hill, Knoll and Easton will be added to Bristol East. Stockwood, Brislington West and Brislington East, St George West, St George Central and St George Troopers Hill will stay with the constituency. These wards all voted for left-leaning parties, but only one Labour candidate got elected in Lawrence Hill. The other was a Green candidate. Knoll voted for two Lib Dem candidates, and Easton voted for two Green candidates. Whereas the wards of Lockleys, New Cheltenham, Froome Vale, Eastville, Hillfields, Staple and Mangotsfield, Kingswood and Woodstock, will make up the newly formed Bristol North East. The Kingswood constituency is disappearing, its wards distributed to its neighbours with Woodstock, Staple and Mangotsfield going to Bristol North East. In the local elections, the wards of Bristol North East voted for mostly left-leaning parties, with one seat going to the Conservatives in these wards. Out of the other seats, only three went to a non-Labour party, that being the Greens. Every other seat went to a Labour councillor. If the next general election takes place after May 2024, it could have a familiar face to vote for. Current Mayor Marvin Rees is said to be interested in standing for Labour in this constituency after the Mayor role is abolished. On the outskirts of Bristol is the Filton and Bradley constituency. It is going to be split in half as it loses the Pilning and Seven Beach Ward. Filton is largely a Tory safe seat, but loses a Tory majority ward, putting this seat in danger. Not helped by the fact, recent polling suggests this constituency could flip to Labour at the next election. Electoral Calculus, which averages a poll of polls, as well as many other polling places have predicted this outcome. Now onto the area of Bath and North East Somerset. On the whole, Bath gains wards, and North East Somerset loses wards and gets a new name. Bath gains Newbridge and Bath Avon North, which are largely seen as Lib Dem voting wards, having two Lib Dem councillors sitting on the council. Current MP for Bath, Vera Hobhouse, has a strong majority of 12,000 in this constituency. Having two largely Lib Dem voting wards will only help boost her position, as this is her party. North East Somerset is Jacob Rees Mogg's constituency. It is losing several wards to its southeast and is being renamed. North East Somerset and Hannam. The wards it loses to its neighbour, Froome, are Peasdown, Radstock, Midsummer Norton Redfield, Midsummer Norton North and Westfield. These wards have voted largely for left-leaning councillors in the last local elections. Losing left-leaning areas will only help Rhys Mogg's role, as recent polls suggest under the current borders, Mogg would lose his seat. If the local elections are replicated at the next general election, Based on my research, I think Bath, the largely unchanged Bristol seats, and North East Somerset and Hannam will keep the same MPs. Constituencies to look out for will be Bristol Central, which could be the Green Party's second seat, Filton and Bradley, which could flip to Labour, and Bristol North East, which could see the return of Mayor Rees if the next general election is after May 2024. Here's what the map will look like if these predictions are true. Please join us next time as I look at the rest of County Avon in North Somerset and South Gloucestershire. 
Remember to subscribe to West England Bylines for more of our videos in the West.